Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Team Growth and Deek weekly status meeting. Today is Tuesday, the 12th of December. Uh, it, was the, it was the week before release, and uh, we've all been pretty busy getting ready for, uh, for the release um, next week. So just in terms of the, the context, it's, it's, it's looking uh, reasonably good. Uh, we have most PRs closed off. We have probably one PR left for, for Mantis. Um, and the big, I suppose, news breakthrough this week is that we now have installers um, so we can test with those over the week and, um, and then next week, hopefully just, um, just let it go. So we'll go around and um, we'll just talk about, I guess, progress this week. So let's uh, start with Radic. Radic, what, what have you been up to? Um, so I've been continually uh, running uh, both uh, nodes. Uh, I mean, one on the classic main network and uh, one for modern. Uh, and uh, modern has actually um, showed that uh, there are some issues. Uh, and while this is not uh, perhaps directly related to the release because, uh, well, you know, we, we were tar targeting the mainnet. Uh, but, but there's an interesting research going on there. Um, we are discovering at least something that could uh, theoretically be an issue. We also don't really know what's the status of modern and, and uh, how much we should be concerned uh, with that. Okay. Anyway, m more related to, to, to the upcoming release is that uh, um, th there was a bug discovered in uh, uh, in uh, in the regular sync, uh, a relatively small efficiency bug that was fixed, um, and also uh, another manifestation of a previously known bug, the the, the missing uh, state nodes. Um, so um, we currently don't have a proper solution for this, but we do have a um, have a sort of a remedy, a, a mechanism that will uh, re-download uh, those uh, missing nodes on the fly while while doing regular sync. Um, so that that's already been tested and proven to work. Uh, it just needs a needs a little. Uh, uh, a, a bit of polishing and, and improvements should be should be ready to 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 close like tomorrow probably. Okay, excellent. Um, thanks, Radek. Uh, Alan, did you want to add anything about the the modern net? Um, yeah, I can add that. Uh, it seems to be like uh, has split it at least in two branches. And both both branches are progressing, which means that both are creating new blocks at the top. Uh, and but no, that that's all I can say right now. Okay, so this is just something that that may uh, evaporate as we sort of get a little bit more knowledge. Um, so it's still under investigation. Okay, fair enough. Um, anything else to add over uh, about uh, your testing over the last week? So I. Test. I did the regression test on all the RPC endpoints, the old ones, which I mean the, the standard ones and the ones that we have created for the Dallas integration. Everything looks good. All the that I found uh, were fixed. Uh, Alan? Alan? Okay, he's having some kind of... Uh, no, we can't hear you. Can you try again? You're muted at the moment. Now? Yeah, that's better. Ah, okay, so uh, I was saying that uh, I, did a, I finished the regression test uh, for the RPC endpoints, the old ones, I mean the standard ones, and the 
created for Daedalus and everything looks good. All the minor bugs that I found were are already uh, fixed, so everything looks good on that. Okay, great, thanks. Um, uh, Ukash. This week it's been mostly testing and fixing. Uh, one of the biggest issues that we have was that we had some missing blocks during fast sync. Uh, there was a small error that has been fixed, and the database for that is already. And the snappy test that should validate if our database is correct. Uh, so that was the, the previous week, and currently I'm testing the, the Windows version of installer. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, and finally, um, um, well, well, actually, second from last, Nico, uh, how's your testing going? You, you've done a little testing with them. Um, you've been looking at the logs issue that we had, right? Uh, yes, that's right. I've been uh, also testing the, both the Windows and the Mac versions of the installer. And I detected yes, that I've been looking into that, and I created a already there's already a request for a fix to that, and that's been it. Okay. Okay, great. So um, just before we move on to Conrad, because I know Conrad has actually um, has a synchronized wallet, and we're just going to do a little bit of a demonstration of the Daedalus wallet and how it looks when it's when it's uh, hopefully doing a transfer. So um, where where are we? Uh, as I said at the beginning, the news, the big news this week is that we now have access to the installers. And even though there's one or two known issues with the installer, it means that we're able to move on and test the Daedalus Wallet Mantis backend integration. And uh, this has already been tested by the by the guys who wrote the Daedalus Wallet. So hopefully the uh, we'll find very very little. It's just it, hopefully it'll just be a regression test. Um, the most, uh, a lot of the the soak testing, um, and the the testing of the synchronization and the chain and generating the bootstrap, that's that's pretty much well in hand, uh, and is is it's just a matter of time, I think, before we before we finish that up. Now there is, of course, that one PR, uh, which Radic mentioned, which is related to our uh, recovery mechanism. For the very, very, uh, at the, uh, what seems to be a very, very unusual case now, which is the occasional missing uh, state try node, we do have that recovery mechanism. So that's the only PR that's outstanding. Um, and this week is all about testing, uh, doing the final, final regression testing and generating bootstrap um, databases and getting ready for next week's launch. Uh, okay, Conrad. Hopefully, that's all true now, and um, and what you can show us is a uh, is a working demo of the wallet. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, at first, I will tell what I were doing uh, last week. I was working on some uh, RPC endpoints uh, bug reported by Alan. Uh, all of them was uh, were fixed. For now, I have also done some unit added some unit testing for our features. And uh, done some testing to the wallet as a uh, whole other team. That was uh, my main task for the, this last week. And uh, I can show now the um, working Dedaus wallet uh, in sync, uh, the full synced state. Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah. Uh, yeah be sure. Okay, so I have created several uh, two uh, wallets and uh, made some transactions between them. Uh, you can see you can see all the in the summary. Uh, for every transaction, you can uh, see all the information the, that we want. Uh, to perform the sending the funds, we must first uh, get uh, address of receiving account. And I, just to point out, uh, in case we didn't make it clear enough, this is actually, this is ETC. This is the ETC, uh, the, yeah. the classic mainnet.
Okay, we see that transaction is currently in pending state in a wallet that is sending the funds and it's pending in the wallet that uh, is uh, receiving the transfer. After the transfer will be finished and uh, the transaction will be included into block, the transaction will look like every other with, without this pending uh, label. Okay, the resolution is a little bit low on my screen. What what does that say? Is that pending transaction pending? Yeah, it's okay. transaction pending exactly. And uh, this red label said uh, low. Uh, I have low funds on this account. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe during the transaction finalizing, you can see that there are also some settings. Uh, we can change uh, the wallet name and wallet password. Uh, see all the transactions that were performed. There is some uh, in the later uh, tableau. There, are, there is some summary. Right. Um, we can see our address. Okay. At some point, we're going to have to test that. Uh, we'll test that um, that QR code as well. It'll be interesting to make sure that works. Yeah. There is also settings, some uh, language, uh, things uh, that we want to have. Terms of use and uh, some the blocks to send your server. Yeah. It's, that's basically all functionality. I think. Yeah. It's really just about uh, just about the wallets and wallet safety. I think. At the moment, uh, so does it usually take this long or longer? Usually, as far as, as I was testing it earlier, it took a little less. So uh, it's quite different from other times. Uh, okay, it's the uh, the demo gods are watching. Yeah, exactly. Just just my thought that uh, all the transactions went smoothly, and this one on must be pending. Yeah. What happens if you try another one? Okay, I can test it. No reason to think it'll be any any quicker, but uh, let's see what happens. Just interesting to see the UI being exercised. We don't see that one. That's okay. So something is stuck. That's as, as you said. Demo gods are watching. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have to we'll have to check that out. I mean, I think we still, yeah. you know, we've given a a, uh, a preview of how the UI um, is going to look and feel, which is kind of where we're at. So uh, it's. I mean, it's also fair to say that we've literally just got the installers working. So you're actually the first guy who's um, who's uh, who started testing. So we'll, we'll we'll be working on that for the rest of the week. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. So in summary, then um, we've got our installers not fully working. We know there's one or two little issues with them. All PORs except one are merged. So we're ready on the Mantis back end. Um, and all the regression tests are, are almost finished. So I think we're in uh, reasonable shape. Um, we'll definitely have the CLI um, or C1 uh, next week and most likely have the um, have Daedalus out there as well. Uh, anyone got any questions on any of that? Um, maybe something to add. Uh, an important occurrence happened yesterday, the long-awaited uh, switch the hard fork to EC, ECAP 1017, also known as monetary policy, happened uh, yesterday. So uh, we we successfully switched over. Um, at least two instances that I know of are running the proper chain. Yeah, yeah. The the, the long running instance that I have, um, I actually sat and watched it go from go through uh, 
the the five million mark without a hitch. So um, yeah, well done. That's a uh, that's another thing that we know works properly. Uh, so that's that's good news. Okay. Well, if there's nothing else, I'm going to finish up, um, and I'll talk to you guys online. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.